Hi guys, welcome back. On Monday, October 19th, we're going to begin the Comprehensive Color Blending Intermediate course. And for the following nine weeks, we're going to be covering topics such as color theory, blending, and lighting techniques on an intermediate level. Today, I want to talk to you about something that has been brought up in the past, but it's something that you really need to start concentrating on, especially if you're going to be taking this class. Hopefully, this class is going to help you develop your own personal artistic style. How to develop it is a very common new artist and even experienced artist question. When does it come in to, to play? And today we're going to discuss that. We're also going to look at different artist styles. And there's no better way than to just get out the books and take a look at some of the styles to show you things that you need to pay attention in your own artwork. Before we get started, I want to thank our sponsor for today's video, and that's Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community where millions of people come together to make the next step in their artistic journey. There are thousands of classes that you can choose from in topics such as fine arts, creative writing, graphic design, photography, and more. Most classes are under 60 minutes with a short lesson that fits any schedule. And if you decide to sign up with Skillshare, it's under $10 a month. The first 1,000 people who click the link in my description will get a free trial of Skillshare Skillshare Premium. If you are interested in more classes on how to develop your artistic style, Skillshare has three more instructors, Rita Sharon, Stephanie Coleman, and Terry Runyon, who all give you their unique perspective. Today we're going to take a look at a couple of books that came out within the last month or two, and I have three of them here. Fashion Through the Ages, and that's by Color It, colorit.com. Pirates by Elena Lazareva. Fantasy Elena Lazareva on Etsy. And the last one is Cretopia by Vex. I'm going to be showing you the flip through books. And while I'm doing this, I want you to think about what it was like for the artists of these books when they were learning. How did they develop a style that is so unique to them that you really don't need their name on the book? Vex, the creator of Cretopia. I'm going to be showing you the flip through books. I'm going to be showing you the flip through books. Copy. He inspires people to do art just by looking at what he produces. Elena Lazareva, she's known for her beautiful grayscales, a completely different style than Vex. She's so recognizable that you can open her book, mix her pages in with other people. And you could still pick out her style. Each time a colored book comes out, they spotlight a different illustrator. How did these artists hone their skill? The best way I can describe developing your own sense of style is to give you the example of handwriting. When you were really young and you were learning how to write, People gave you crutches for that. They put special lines on the paper, had you write in boxes that were larger. At some point of your life, those boxes went away, those special lines disappeared. And out of your learning and your hands being held, emerged your handwriting. Everybody's handwriting is unique. Nobody writes the same way. But how did you develop that handwriting? Why do you write your curves to the right or the left? That's something that you developed over time. And if you watch your handwriting for years, it does change and evolve. It's the same thing with art. Your signature or your artistic style comes from years of practice, adding tips and tricks to your little bag of tips and tricks. The best way I can describe developing your own sense of style is to give you the example of handwriting. When you were really young and you were learning how to write, people gave you crutches for that. They put special lines on the paper. So what I would like to ask you to do, for those of you who are in the class, I want you to look at your books. Pick out a book that you really, really like. And from now till then, do a picture in it. It doesn't matter what book. It doesn't matter what style of book. It could be grayscale. It could be line drawing, like Color It is line drawing. Elena is grayscale. Vex puts together realistic with cartoon. Cartoon. 
I want you to see how your style changes and how it grows and develops. And I'm going to be giving you a lot of examples and demonstrations of how it is done. But my style may be different than yours and it doesn't make it wrong. I'm going to give you the information that's needed for you to produce a picture that's natural and believable. But not all pictures need to be believable. Look at Picasso. Then at the end of the nine weeks, I want you to do the same thing. If you can make two copies of that picture, I want you to do it twice. If you can't do it twice, do it do two similar pictures, one in the style that you're starting with and one with the style that you're finishing with and see how you grow in those nine weeks. Are your strokes smoother? Now, nothing develops unless you do it. It takes practice, hard work, practice, study. As the weeks pass, I want you to recognize that your style is going to become uniquely recognizable. As the weeks pass in the class, your style should become uniquely recognizable, just like your signature. And that's already in you. It's going to come from commitment, repetition, introspection. And while quality always counts, when you're learning, quantity counts doing the same thing over and over again, just like an artist would develop a character and give that character personality. And they, they could draw that one character for years and that becomes their signature style. Your style should also transfer to different genres of art. So if you're doing using colored pencil, that style should go over into graphite, pastel, uh, even paint. And it'll be your, your signature style. But I do recommend don't put that much effort into it. It's something that happens naturally and over time. And while I was developing mine, and believe me, it needs more development and it's going to continue developing throughout my artistic journey and changing and getting better. And I found helping me discover what I do best is the word shut up. And I know that sounds silly, but if you try copying somebody and you can almost hear their voice behind you going pencil to the left, pencil to the right, up and down, and you can almost hear them do it this way. I want you to t tell them to shut up already. I want you to do that picture. I want you to do that skill, but in your way of doing it. The sky could be on the top of the paper and the ground could be on the bottom of the paper, but in between, you decide where that sky is going to be. You decide how deep that ocean is going to be. These are all things you're going to be able to do at the end of the nine weeks. And the most important thing above all is don't, don't be afraid to be unique. That's what's being unique is what's going to set your style apart. It's, it's why does Vex's style appeal to so many people to copy it? Because it's unique. It's his. Everybody else that copies him is never going to be him. You be that person. That's what's being unique is what's going to set your style apart. It's, it's why does Vex's style appeal to so many people to copy it? Because it's unique. I remember when my daughter was first starting art school, she went to one of the best schools in probably the United States, um, for high school art. It was specifically an art school. It was an art school with high school thrown in on top of that because she had to finish. But this was basically, if you ever think of the, the school from the movie Fame, that's what my daughter went to. Um, an art school like Fame, where, yeah, there was academic classes, but 
the focus and the attention was on the arts. And the first week she came home and she showed me her assignments. And I nearly fell over because I was like, I thought my art teachers were crazy. But your art teachers are nuts. One of her very first assignments was she was supposed to draw something off her desk, her computer desk. And they went into like this elaborate thing. It had to be such and such, you know, it had to be this big and that big. And it, it, it there was all sorts of criteria for this object and how they were going to draw it. And the teacher spelled out on a whole page exactly word for word what she wanted. And then on the second page, she turned and she said, and do it in in surrealism and that's when my brain went dead it's like what and from then on her assignments took on that same approach romanticism realism impressionalism um, she did renaissance art all these different styles and then she came to her senior year and in her senior year, she had to do a portfolio. She had to do one to get into the school because it was a very vig rigorous um, acceptance program. She had to do all these different skills just to get into the school. But to get out of the school, they had to do this senior project. And they basically cut her loose. And they said, at the beginning, you have to pick one thing. And that one thing you are going to do all year long. And the first time she picked monsters and she hated it. It, it didn't last long. They, they were allowed to switch. But they, they had to produce a certain amount of work. So if they changed up their... Well, I forgot what they called it, but there was a specific name for it. If they changed that, which was... At first, monsters, and she ended up doing um, ancient Japanese art, which was very pretty, and I have a lot of nice pictures from her. Concentration. That was the word. Um, if they changed their concentration, then they still had to do the same amount of work. So, like, she could have done 10 pictures in one concentration, switch it up, she would still have the 20 to do in the concentration that she had to put forth. They couldn't change it up. The idea behind that whole entire year was to develop and hone in on her specific style. And the criteria were that she had to love it, you needed a passion, and... Everything that I've told you now that you have to do to develop your style, they had to do it over and over again. That was evident. And it wasn't just the 20 pieces and you were done for the year. There were little assignments in between that she had to incorporate her concentration in. So it was 20 pieces on top of her schoolwork. The last day of school, they have they had an art gallery showing, and each person that's ended up get graduating because not everybody graduated. Each person got a si a certain size booth, just like a regular gallery, and they had to decorate the gallery in the style of their artwork, and then they put their their artwork up on the walls, just like any gallery. And they actually had art critics and people who bought um, art come to the gallery. It was open to the public. And it's a very popular thing here in Vegas when her school does their plays. People outside the school buy tickets for it. it, it it's like a show. I remember going around and looking at all these kids, and it was amazing that you can actually see each person in that booth developing. And and I, I finally understood the methodology of what they were doing with her all those years doing 
different styles and then setting her loose to develop herself and her own in her own way. That's kind of what I want for everybody is I want you to learn, practice, do it correctly, recognize your lights, your darks, your value tones, and then develop your own sense and style and take off from there. So that's the goals for the nine for my nine weeks. And of course, it's going to take you nine, long, way longer than nine weeks to get there, but at least I'm going to give you the tools. So I will see you guys on Monday. Keep what I, I said to you in mind. Pick out your picture and we'll get to work. Take care. Pirates by Elena Lazareever at Elena Ra at Elena Ra at Elena Ra Pirates by Elena Lazareva at Elena Ra Lazar at Elena Lazareva dot com. She's also located on Etsy.